June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. You arrive home after a year abroad. You expect your family to greet you, but the house is empty. Something's not right. Where is everyone? And what's happened here? Unravel the mystery for yourself in Gone Home, a story exploration game from the Fulbright Company. Hello everyone, welcome to Gone Home, and I'm unbelievably excited to play this. I, this is almost, I'm recording this right now. At the moment of this recording, it is about 10 minutes after it unlocked on Steam. I bought it literally the minute it unlocked. Downloaded it, and now I'm playing it. Basically, right when it came out. I'm so excited to play this game. When I first heard about it, I thought it sounded like the most amazing thing ever. And I'm pretty sure it will be. So, they call it a story exploration game. That is like... That is a genre that fits me so perfectly, it's not even funny. When I play adventure games, usually one of the things I like the most, like the most fun thing for me in adventure games, is when you get to go to someone's house, like maybe the main character's house, maybe even someone else's house, but especially when it's the main character's house, when you just get to be in their home and you can inspect everything in the house, Something about that, inspecting everything in someone's house, is incredibly engaging and powerful and interesting. So the fact that this game is basically... The entire game is just that. You are in the main character's house, and her family's house, and you're exploring it. The fact that the entire game is based on that is amazing. I love that. It's like they've distilled one of the things I love the most about adventure games into an entire game on its own. I'm so excited to play this. Okay, so let's get going. I've not started the game up before. Let's do it. I've just set some of the options, and I believe we're good to go. New game. Yep, look around using the mouse. Mm -hmm. Loading. I can't wait, I can't wait, I can't wait. Hi, Mom. Uh, so I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Okay, I already love the game. Voice acting, 10 out of 10. June 7th, 1995, 1.15 a.m. I have just returned home and, oh, I'm actually playing. For some reason, I am getting less than 30 FPS, which is very surprising. Hold on, I'm going to check some things. I'll be right back. Okay, I have returned. I adjusted a couple things. It turns out, uh, well, I, I turned off VSync and I turned off Motion Blur. I actually really like Motion Blur in games, but for some reason it actually affected my FPS quite a bit by having it on. Which is bizarre, because I didn't think Motion Blur really took up much performance. But anyway, yeah, those two things are off. Now I'm getting a steady 30 FPS. And we are good to go. I also turned down the field of view because it was too high. It was all fisheye looking, so now it looks a lot better. Anyway, all right. And I also found out when I was testing stuff that you can hold down right-click to zoom in. Oh yeah! Investigator mode activate! Caitlin Greenbrier, Destination Portland, flight number 270, June 6th, 1995. So that is my luggage. Oh, take a look at all of these patches! Look at that, just listen to that wind howling outside. That's one hell of a storm. <sighs> Whoa, what the hell was that? I just held down shift. Is that the same as right-click? Oh, it is the same as right-click. Okay. That is like the most amazing thing ever. 
I love interacting with the environment and turning stuff on and off and moving stuff. Alright, turn that on. I, I don't know why I'm going through this stuff before I even knock on the door, but oh well. <laughs> uh, grab Christmas duck. Christmas duck. Oh. Oh, wow. Put back, right? Uh, right mouse or left shift to examine held object. Okay. Oh, that's so cool! Wait, what was I gonna say? Move the mouse to rotate what you're examining. That is so cool. Oh, what is it? Oh, it cost five ninety nine. <laughs> uh. All right, so I believe you can, if I remember right, you can either throw stuff or put it back. So let me get. Do you just left click to throw? Yeah. Okay. So you can throw it, or you can put it back. Do that. Okay. Let's take that house key. House key added to backpack. Press 1 or I to check the contents of your backpack. Ooh. Okay. Oh, wow. Oh, look at this. Alright, that's my passport. And that is me. Kind of hard to read all that. It's really tiny. It's my passport. I got it to go on my Europe trip. Oh, can I, um, can I examine it? Like, spin it around or something? Nope. Boarding pass. Departure from Amsterdam. Destination Portland. Okay, so she came from Amsterdam. Transfer in Cincinnati. Back from my year in Europe. A spare key that was hidden under old Christmas duck. <laughs> oh, well, there's my map. The front porch. Nothing in my journal yet. Man, it really is one hell of a storm. That looks like a bunch of, well, Christmas duck next to some Christmas lights and some tacky Christmas fluff. Oh yes, look at this cup. Beautiful, beautiful cup. Okay, um... Oh, there's a note. Hold the right mouse or left shift to look closer, yep. Can I read this or do I have to read it, read it? Okay, yeah. Katie, I'm sorry I can't be there to see you, but it is impossible. Please, please don't go digging around trying to find out where I am. I don't want mom and dad, and it's scribbled out, anyone to know. We'll see each other again someday. Don't be worried. I love you. Sam. So is that my sister? I think it might be my sister. I'm not sure. Hmm. Okay. Uh, wait, I just grabbed that key. Did I open this with the key? Or was it already open? I mean, I didn't use it, but maybe it automatically got used? It probably automatically got used. Oh my god, it's... The hell's wrong with that light? It's really dark in here. Also... This... We must be really well off, because this is an extremely big house. Oh my god, look at that staircase. You could, you could drive a freaking car up and down that staircase. In terms of size, I mean, you wouldn't want to, obviously. It's not a ramp, but <laughs> it's so big. It's got to be the biggest damn staircase I've ever seen. Well, there's no coats on the coat rack. Maybe they took every... They all went out or something? I don't know. Let's turn this on so I can actually see. Whoa. Uh, looks like someone was rooting around in the drawers here. Going crazy looking for something, maybe? I mean, look at all this. Tissue box. Hmm. Can you unplug it or something? No. I don't know why you'd want to. Whoa. Oh, just under. What does that say? Is that a movie ticket? Looks like a ticket of some sort. Hmm. Anyway, what's in here? There's a note. What is that? Ooh, I'm very bad at reading handwriting, especially cursive handwriting. I don't know what that says. Is that direction to... from something left on whatever... Travel time, one hour, ten minutes? Does that say, like, directions to work from 
new home? Is that what that says? It's very scribbly. Travel time, one hour, ten minutes? That is a very long commute, if that does actually say to work. Is that Mountain Mart? Just a mostly a bunch of junk. Oh wait, bottom one. Hello. Anything in here? Nope, just more junk. Whoops. Front. Could have sworn I just heard something. I guess it's either the wind, the thunder, or the rain, or something. This isn't a horror game, so it's not like something's going to eat my face off. Anyway. Uh, so did we just move in? Or or what? I mean, what, these look like moving boxes. Front hall. What is this? Wellspring... Oh yeah, I guess we just moved in or we are moving out? Uh, I don't know. Wellspring Movers Incorporated. From Oregon. Oh yeah, we're in Portland, Oregon. Terrence Greenbrier. Okay, so that's probably my father, I'm guessing. Date, August 1st, 1994. What is... what is the date? What is the date? Did this say? Let me check. 1995. Okay, so that was from a while ago. Kitchen boxes, blah, 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 overweight library, multiple televisions. That is pretty expensive. $2,750. $2, Dear Katie, so much has changed, even just since you've been away. We moved into this house. I'm at a new school. And my big sister being gone for a year doesn't make it any easier. It doesn't feel real. But I'm not going to let it phase me. I used to tell you everything, and if I can't do it in person, because you're off gallivanting around who knows where, I'll tell it to this journal, just like I was talking to you. Okay, so Sam is my older sister. Hold on, I was kind of caught off guard by that. I... Let me listen to that again. Or, I guess, read it again. Even just since you've been gone, we moved into this house. I'm at a new school. Okay, so they moved in pretty recently. She's at a new school. She's my younger sister, so I'm assuming she's probably in high school. Could be college. Probably high school. Gallivanting around. Who knows where? Hmm. Okay. God, the voice acting is really good. Really, really, really good. Let's turn that... Oh, no, uh... There we go. Ah. Man, the lighting in this game is really good. Whoa, what was that? That is a really... Okay, that's a really hit massive light switch to begin with. But it's also... It looks like it's, I don't know, from the 40s or something. Or the 20s, I mean, that, th that thing looks ancient. Hmm. Oh yeah, flushable toilets. Okay, I'm giving this game 10 out of 10 right now. Flushable toilets equals game of the year. Hand soap. Sparkle hand soap. Green apple. Hmm. Can I wash my hands? Nope. <laughs> I don't need to anyway. Examine magazine. What is that? Author magazine. February 1995. Freelancing tips and tricks from the pros. Stephen King in a big red bubble for some reason. 50 contestants with up to $21,000 in prizes, critiques, the art of feedback, get published, the secret, the blank page, how 20 top authors conquer it. More toilet paper, whoops. More toilet paper. 
Soft Plus Toilet Paper. The softest toilet tissue for your money. Four rolls, 220 soft sheets, now thicker. What does that say? Quilt, quilted for extra strength and absorbency, unscented. Awesome. Hold on. There we go. Cleansing powder. Uh, I love this. I mean, this is... It's such random stuff to just be... I'm looking at cleaning powders and toilet paper, but for some reason it's the most engaging thing I've ever done. Vax. Powder cleanser. Peel here. And that's it. Oh, no, no, go back. There we go. What is that? Band-Aids, quick fix, 100 fabric bandages, sterile, durable, latex free. What else is in there? Anything else? Toilet paper roll? Nah. Alright, what's up here? Towels. And more towels. And more towels. Gotta put everything back how I found it, or how it should be. Oh, don't forget, turn off the lights, save energy. Don't want to waste electricity. Um, I will leave the door open, though, so I know I've been here. Plus, why would you leave the bathroom door closed? I guess I'll leave that open, just so I know I've looked at it. Hello? Well, I mean, I already know that there's no one home. I already know that there's no one home, but I feel like I should check around and see if I can find anyone. Briefly, before I start becoming a master detective. Um, let me check the phone. Is there anything here? Any messages? Holy crap, that is like the biggest phone I've ever seen! Well, okay, not the biggest, but that's freaking huge! I guess this is 19... what is it? 1995. Can I, can I take the phone and just, like, throw it? <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I feel so wrong. Alright, uh, three messages. Oh, and a note. Um, let's read the note first. Sam. Daniel from the old neighborhood called. He wants to come see this, uh, see the new house. Call him back. Okay. Mom, Daniel is a total weirdo. The only reason I ever hang out, uh, hung out with him in the first place is he had a Nintendo when we were little. <laughs> uh, that, that is a good reason to hang out with someone. Sam. Sam. Hello. Sam. So I got my ticket home from Europe. I get back on June 6th, but it's a really late flight because that was the cheapest, so it gets in at midnight. But don't worry, I'll get a shuttle from the airport so you don't have to pick me up. Like, really seriously, you don't have to. Okay, so, love you. See you soon. Bye. Wait a minute. Wait, what was happening in the second message? What, was that me? Or someone else? Something was horribly wrong, it sounded like. Sam. Sam. Like that, is that, Hello. is that me? Sam. And this one, what's going on here? Sam, where are you? Really? I need to talk to you. Please be there. Hmm. And I don't know exactly when I was left, either. Sam, Katie, Mom, and Dad. Yeah, Terry is my dad. Terrence, Jan, Sam, and Katie. So that's Sam, and that's me. 
What a lovely looking family. He's rocking the mustache. Nice. Nothing down there. Nothing in there. Itinerary. Worldwide timetable. Ooh, pencil. Come here. Is this a number two? It's a, it's a numbered nothing. It doesn't even have a number. Maybe that's copyright. Ooh. Wait, can I even put this back? I can't even put that back. Okay, I'm just going to put that there. And there's a marker. Let's say Permanent marker, fine point. Permanent marker, fine point. Okay, maybe I'll need those, so I'm just going to put those there. Itinerary. Worldwide timetable, effective June 1st, 1994. Why is there a little heart on this? What the hell? What is this? Flights? Something to do with flights? What does it say? Katie... Katie departure? Katie's departure? 881. 1210 to... Amsterdam? I think that says. Oh, wait a minute. So is, is that when I left? 7694. That'd be last year. Amsterdam. Yeah. Okay, so I've been gone for... Well, not an incredibly long time, but a pretty long time. Okay. What is that? Boone County. Hmm. I'll just leave that open so I know I've been there. Alright. Let me look around for anyone. And also, is there anything in the controls that I'm missing? Anything I can do? Probably not. Toggle, mouse acceleration, mouse smoothing. Sticky targeting. Okay, I'm actually going to turn off sticky targeting. That's something I've noticed is weird. Uh, mouse acceleration. Hell no. Okay, so sticky targeting. The reason it's so weird... Let me see how this feels. Alright, that's better. Sticky targeting was making it so when I mouse... Uh, when my crosshair was over something that I can interact with, like this, it would slow down to like half speed or something. So you'd stay on it for longer. That was really weird. I, I It feels bad. Okay. Um, sensitivity is pretty good. Slightly too low. Bear with me for just a second. That's probably fine. Okay, that's good. Now, let's go see if there's anyone here. I already know there isn't. But let's just look. Hello? Oh, it's locked. Man, this really does have wonderful lighting. I'm leaving most of the lights on. Press 2 or M to check your location in the house. Oh, yeah. The foyer. What the hell kind of a house has a foyer? My house doesn't have a foyer. <laughs> what the? What is that? Oh, is that a smoke alarm? Okay, I have to be honest. I know this is not a scary game. However, being in a house all alone and having it dark like this is kind of creepy. I'm going to turn on these lights. Uh, ah, Much better. All right, before I start looking at stuff, I'm just going to look for people. Hello? Radi <laughs> radiation area keep out. Oh, my God. That's adorable. I did that stuff as a kid, too. Anyone here? Danger, wear goggles and rubber gloves when handling anything in this room. What the hell? Man, this place was just left in a state of disarray. Hello? Is that... Uh... Oh, oh. <laughs> For a second, I thought that was blood. That's not blood. That's hair color. That's hair dye, right? Wild color. Red right hand. Semi-permanent hair color. F uh, not tested on animals. Original formula. Okay, yeah, that's not blood. Lonnie brought her hair dye over today. She said, I need to fix these roots. Think you could help? Dying hair is weirdly intimate. 
know if I've touched someone else's scalp before. It's pretty intimate, right? It felt intimate. We looked in the mirror together after, and I expected her to say something about how it looked crappy, or good, or whatever. But that's when she said, You're so beautiful. And she was looking at me. Right in that moment, I wanted to say something, but I waited, and the moment was gone. Aww. That's so sweet. I think I missed something, though. Because I have no idea who Lonnie is. Uh, so yeah, let's go... Let's, let's not look at anything so we don't trigger any journals before I've kind of started at the beginning, which I'm assuming is the lower level. So let me just keep looking, very briefly. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa, that is really cool. Okay, okay, yeah, there's obviously... There's obviously no one home, so let's go back to the first floor and explore. So much stuff to look at, I love it. This game is amazing, already it's amazing. Okay, uh, was this... No, the other door was locked. Is this one locked? No. That bulb needs to be replaced. Or maybe not? Oh, no. apparently it's fine. The lighting really is good in this game. Hmm. A backpack with a note shoved in it. Is there anything up here? <laughs> I just tried to jump and then I realized you can't jump. That would actually be very weird in a game like this. You'd end up hopping on everything and just... Yeah, it'd be weird. Welcome, new student. We hope that you are excited about your first day at Goodfellow High School as we are. Okay, so she was in high school. Please be sure to bring the following with you on your first day of classes. So that you can get right into the swing of things. One sturdy folder with pockets for each of your six class periods. One line notebook per period or one large notebook with six divided sections. At least six pens, blue or black ink, and six pencils. One box of colored pencils, a standard combination lock for your assigned locker, a nutritious lunch, or two fifty for a lunch provided by the school cafeteria, and a positive attitude. Please remember to get plenty of sleep the night before and be ready for the first bell to ring at 8 a.m. See you soon, and again, welcome. I'm Beth Valance, Principal. Oh my god. You are so lucky you finished high school before we moved into this house. So, it's the first day of school, and there I am, introducing myself to the class. And I say that I just moved into the house on Arbor Hill. All of a sudden, every kid in the room turns and just stares like I suddenly transformed into a mutant. I just stood there, pushing pretty hard for a rewind button. Because now maybe nobody knows my name, but they all know who I am. The Psycho House Girl. <sighs> Great. The Psycho House Girl? Okay, so this was like the home of a murderer, I guess? Or something like that. I guess it's a house with a, a storied past. Interesting. I'm sure we're going to learn more about that, probably. Hey, it's one of the postcards I sent. Eight two and whoops. Eight two and nineteen ninety four. Man, look at all those stamps. That looks expensive. <laughs> Hi, Mom. Hi, Mom, Dad, and Sam. I'm in Paris. I have done many Parisian... Pr Parisian? I think it's Parisian. Parisian things, including eating... Oh, God. La Petite de Juven... I, I don't know. <laughs> and wearing a... Beret? Is that what that says? I'm going to have lots of film to develop when I get back. Sam, I'm bringing you back something from the uh, Shakes, uh, Shakespeare Book Company, since you are my favorite sister. Love you all, Katie. Mom, Dad, and Sam, Arbor Hill, Boone County. Hmm, she drew a blind to Arbor Hill saying, weird. Why is that weird? Is it because of this house is the house of a murderer or something? I don't know. Nothing in there. 
Nothing in there. What's in here? Ooh, hello. Photos. So much stuff. Ooh, another pencil. I'm just gonna put that... Th okay, fine. I'll leave it there. <laughs> I want to grab all the pens. I just want to grab all the pens. And right. It didn't work. Deck of cards. Let's say... Oh, no. Spin. Uh, there we go. A catchy playing cards. Hmm, sounds exotic. What's that say? Made in Japan. Oh, I managed to throw it down and have them standing up. Nice. Obituary. Oscar Doc Mason, or Masson, or something like that. Oscar Mason, 60, of Boone County. Alright, that's the county we're in right now. Died peacefully last month in his home. Mr. Mason was born on September 8, 1933, in the house that would be his home for the rest of his life. He attained his degree in, f uh, in pharmacy at a young age and returned to Boone County to practice. He quickly became a well-loved figure at the center of the community. In the decades preceding his passing, he was seldom seen outside his home. A service will be held this Sunday at the First Methodist Church at 1 p.m. All are welcome. His survivors include his nephew, Terrence Greenbrier, as well as, in spirit, the people of Boone County, to whom he provided wellness and comfort. Wait a minute. His nephew, Terrence Greenbrier. Okay, that's my father. That's Katie's father. Hmm. I'm guessing this was the home? Yeah, I'm guessing this is was his home. Pretty sure it was. Alright, what is this photo? Oh, let me... Let me get in the light. DeSoto. Who, who is that? Soto. Hmm. Interesting. I'm. I'm gonna leave that. Um. I guess I'll leave it back in there. I'm still. I'm. St I'm struggling with whether I want to leave things open or not. It makes it easier to see that I've been here, but on the other hand, it looks weird. Uh. I'm gonna leave it closed. I think I'll remember where I've been and where I haven't. I'm crossing my fingers, I will. <laughs> I have a terrible memory, so we'll see about that. Uh, is this smoke alarm? Is it fine? No, I guess it's fine. Whoa. What the hell? That's a TV. Oh, this is the room I saw in a trailer or something like that. The one with the pizza box. Yes. I knew it. Hold on, I'll get to you later, room. Oh, looks like a study or an office of some sort. Look at all these books. Is that something up there? What is that? Bottle. Oh, I'm getting the light. Distilled in Ireland. Canner Han Hanrahan, number nine Irish whiskey. Forty forty percent, forty percent alcohol. Damn. Reserve whiskey blended with scotch and select malts. Sounds expensive. Handcrafted and bottled by something Kelly Inc. made in Ireland. Government warning. According to the Surgeon General, women should not drink alcoholic beverages during pregnancy because of the risk of birth defects. Consumption of alcoholic beverages impairs your ability to drive a car or operate machinery. Yep. What the? Katie? Katie, you can do better than that. Look. Put, put, put back. There you go. <laughs> oh my god, I'm glad the thing didn't break. Jesus. Uh. Well, it's raining outside, so I don't think it's warm. So I'm going to turn that off. Also, that thing sounds ancient. It sounds like some great, massive generator stirring to life, and yet it's only a little desk fan. Boone County, Telephone Directory, 1995. What is this? Pacific Insurance Masters, Electrical Inspection Form. Terrence Greenbrier, okay. That's this house. Does the entire electrical system meet local codes? Yes. Are there any deficiencies that which need correcting? 
Uh, what does it say? Un unclear. Hmm. If yes, describe in detail. Wiring in-house is technically up to safety and amperage requirements. However, multiple layers of wiring have been added into structure over the last 100 years. System is frequently unpredictable. Lights blink out for no clear reason. I've Yeah, I've seen that. Pressure on floorboards and door frames disrupts circuits, um, circuits wired directly behind the surface. Properly reworking the electrical system would be highly destructive to the walls, floor, and fixtures of the structure. After discussion with Mr. Greenbrier, since there are no current safety concerns, issue issues will not be addressed. Okay, so apparently it's safe, but very bad, weird wiring, because it's such an old house. And trust me, I understand that, because I live in a pretty old house and the wiring is shit. It is complete shit. Like, you would just need to start over, rip all of it out, and put it in properly, because it is bad. Company name, Black Cat Electrical. License number, electrician, that's from Harold Price Jr. Alright. And that was inspected last year. But pretty recently. Alright. Why is there a book on this chair? And why is this chair, like, in the middle of the room? Alright, what is this? Oh, let me get into the light properly. Benjamin Almond, The Killing of JFK, A Theory. You've seen the movie, Discover the Truth. A superb work of speculative uh, speculation, plotted with amazing skill and showing a level of magnetic artistry not usually present in such academic pieces. A thrilling theory. I couldn't put this book down. An important new look at the circumstances surrounding one of the greatest tragedies of our time. I can't even put this back. Hmm. Maybe I should put the book in the bookshelf. Can I... Eh. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. Perfect. Well, okay, not perfect, but, but close. Very close. So much random notes. Three ring binder. Anything down here? Wait, is there another light here? Yeah, hold on. There we go. Much, much better. You know, I think the lights might actually be hurting my performance. Yeah, that took away like three FPS. There we go, that's better. Actually, no, that's dark. Hold on, turn that back on. Choppiness doesn't really particularly matter in this game, because you don't need twitch reactions or anything like that. Three ring binder. Hm. Okay. This junk typewriter. Uh, looks like a digital typewriter. Oh, look at that, corkboard. Alright, what is that? Back to basics, sent back in time to Dallas, 1963 again. Oh, wait, so... I'm guessing either Terrence or... Uh, what, was, what was my mother's name? Jan? I'm guessing one of them was a writer. What if JFK wasn't JFK? <laughs> what? Okay, well, he was reading that book. Uh, I'm assuming it's Terrence. He was reading that book. So I guess he's into conspiracy theories? Early space... Was this a space flight? Utopia, advanced technology, and World War II early time... Wow, okay. Japanese, Lebanese, JFK president, US... What the fuck, man? Uh, you're going a little bit crazy with the conspiracy theories there, man. Paradox results in JFK's death being desired outcome? Are these notes for a book, or does he actually believe any of this? Hmm. Right, what is this? Pioneer CLD, blah blah blah, combination laser disc compact disc player. Oh, oh my god! A CD player in 1995. MSRP, $1,000. Oh my god. Remote with backlight, double sided play, headphone out, display on off. Yep, yep, yep. Wow. They say that a jack-of-all-trades is a master of none. I have to disagree. 
Mastery is not a question of specialization, but sureness of purpose and dedication to craft. If you happen to be in the market for a combination LD slash CD player, you'll be glad to know that Pioneer seems to share this particular... Hmm, so... I guess he's writing a review? Alright, sounds like he was writing a review. I wonder what he did. Maybe he was a freelance writer writing articles for all sorts of people? Uh, I don't know. I guess we'll find out. Hmm. This one requires a combination. One, two, three, Four. It didn't work. Read crumpled pages. Whoops. John Russell opened his eyes and saw them, the stars, twinkling as if he were lying on the grass in his family's yard in Massachusetts, even though that place was a million miles away. No. He blinked the sleep from his eyes, looking through the carbon-reinforced safety glass of the space station Archimedes. Yes, he was a long way from home, but the future needed him. John Russell's head swam. He felt incredibly drunk, despite not having touched a drop in hours. He vomited onto his feet. His bare feet. He stared for a moment. Looks like those crossed out. Processing his sick-flecked toenails, scanning up his bare shins, bare knees. He was completely naked. He looked up and met the eyes of a gorgeous blonde woman wearing a tight polymer fiber tunic. The fabric strained at the seams to contain her generous bosom. Bos Bo Bosom? Is it, I think it's pronounced Bosom. Was emblazoned with the phrase, Matter Transference Operator. Then he passed out. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> what was it? That was terrible. And uh, was he drunk when writing this? Because I mean, look at that spelling. Th Thuin? Thuin? Oh, I guess he hit W, which is right next to E. Hmm. What the fuck? John Russell had crossed the gap. The gap in time. Only messages... Ha what the f Wow. Yeah, he's really not very good at writing. Only messages has passed BO4. But now am man. <laughs> what? But now am man. They needed him. Now more than ever, changing the past was no longer good enough. The instructions from the council had been clear. What to procure, what to construct from it. How to assemble it. So he made the machine, how to transport him bodily across time. And now he stood, th there on the bridge of the starship Archimedes, com com what the command of the vessel, wow, because only he, who had saved the predisnit's life, president's life, twice before, could helm the knife crew to their destiny? The fate of the galaxy, what the fuck? Was it... Hold on, wait a minute. Was this actually written by... I don't think this was written by Terrence. Or whoever it was that wrote in this place. Maybe this was written by Sam? Or... Like, maybe she snuck in here and started writing and then... Uh, I don't know, maybe she likes sci-fi or something. I guess we'll find out. I suspect that's what it is, though. That was terrible. That was utterly horrible. Alright, moving on. Lots and lots and lots of books. Oh my god, this is one hell of a library. Oh, hi. Storage cabinets. Let's, let me just take a quick look through here. Alright, there's some stuff. Okay. Ooh. What is... Dad's second book. Okay, so he definitely was a writer. The Accidental Pariah. Terrence L. Greenbrier. A message from our future saved the president's life once. 
But within the next 24 hours, there will be another attempt, and the lines of communication are down. A James Bond for today's audience. Casey DeWitt, a mock now. Compelling. A thriller worth its salt. David Pittman, vaster. Okay, so yeah, this is fiction. Okay, so I don't think he believed any of that stuff. And Is that... What, what is that? Is that porn? Is there a porn stash in here? Hold on. I think there is. <laughs> the magazine for... <laughs> The Magazine for Men, Gentlemen, February 1989. Japan's Bloody War on Dolphins. Ladies in the Ring, The Women of Wrestling, Moscow by Night, Drugs, Prostitution, The Mafia. The New Rules of Love. Wait a minute, so... It... it so it's like a, a... Porn magazine, but it also has articles on Japan's Bloody War on Dolphins? What? It seems to me like you should stick to one or the other, right? I mean, have serious articles or have just softcore or hardcore porn? I mean, why mix them? That's weird. Anyway. Gosh, Dad. <laughs> Is there anything else in there? <sighs> nope. All right, let's put these back. Whoops. Nope. There you go. And put that back. Okay. Actually, let me go back and check something. This book, this wasn't written by him, was it? No, Benj Benjamin Almond. No, no, definitely not written by him. Let's put it like that. Yep. There we go. Nice. MLG book throw. Alright, what's here? Let me turn on this light. It's like a little reading lounge area. Man, it is one hell of a storm out there. Look at that. Look and listen to that. Coaster. Tissue box. Soft face. Whoops. True stories. I was a teenage drag queen. Fresh. May 95. Alright, pretty recent. Readers, tell us about their worst moments. 90210. Does anybody still care? The male gaze. How does a Brit it? Sarah Holst. Not gathering moss. Ah, you thought I didn't see you, did you, Note? You can't get away from my gaze. My laser-piercing eyes will find all notes. The Accidental... Alright, so... Oh, scribbling ideas. The Accidental, blah, 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 scribbled out. The, the Unreliable, blah, blah, blah. A Year on the Mountain, come down from the mountain. The Accidental Prophet? The Accidental Prophet... Alright, so he or she or whoever that was was trying to come up with ideas for the name of that book. This one, right? Wasn't it the Accidental Pariah? Yeah, the Accidental Pariah. Wait, what is that? Oh, that's a rendering error. I'm looking over into the next room. <gasps> I see you! I found a glitch in the Matrix! Everyone, I just realized something. This game? I, I'm not really here. I'm not really here. I'm in I'm in the Matrix! <gasps> no! Anyway, let's continue. What is this? Ooh, looks like a children's book. St oh, let me get it in the light. Stranger. A, st a stranger under my roof. The number one best-selling advice book for parents of teens. Dr. Elisa Medina. A stranger under my roof, understanding teens. The teen years are fraught with changes of all types. Physical, mental, emotional, spiritual. But these changes don't just affect your teen. Your teen's turbulent years are a challenge for parents as well. Maybe the biggest challenge you've yet faced since having children. 
This book holds insights into your teen's behavior from the very beginning as he or she first enters adolescence up through the end of teen years as he or she enters young adulthood. The practical strategies here are based upon well-tested principles of pediatric uh, psychology presented by Dr. Elisa Medina, herself a mother of two teenagers. Prepare to gain new tools for establishing a productive, healthy, and loving dialogue with a stranger under your roof. I've never had such a good conversation with my daughter. These simple tools can make all the difference in a relationship with your child. Alright, so given what I've heard about Sam running off and... And... I can't think of what else, but there's other stuff. It sounds like she was, um... Having difficulty adjusting to the new school, the new place, the new everything, new feelings, new... New everything, just, you know, being alive. Uh, what it, that's where it was. Which is understandable. That would be very stressful. Oh, whoa. Is it, hold on, what is that? Ooh, that's probably the combination. 0451. Just wrote it down. November 1st, 1994. Dear Terrence, David asked me to write to you regarding the reviews you've been submitting the last few months. Frankly, they're becoming more trouble than they're worth. From an editing standpoint, there's a word limit. It's your job to stay under it, not mine to cut back to it. Even then, it's becoming harder and harder to weed out the tangents and non-sequiturs from the usable copy without heavy rewrites. The readers of Home Theater Aficionado want to hear about the quality and value of the hardware, not ruminations on your childhood. If it were up to me, I wouldn't be writing this letter. I'd just be cutting you loose. There's tons of guys half your age who would take half your rate to write stuff I could actually use. But David's known you for a long time, and he's the boss, so I'm giving you one more shot on his say-so. You should write him a nice note, thanking him for his patience and generosity. Look through your old stuff and start submitting reviews like that again. Then everybody will be happy. Brent Kurtwood, Reviews Editor, Home Theater, Aficionado Magazine. Hmm. So he's starting to he's starting to write lots of tangents about his childhood. It sounds like um, whoops. It sounds like he didn't want to be doing reviews. It sounds like he was starting to look back on life. Hmm. Make sure I haven't missed anything. Don't believe I have. All right. Now let me see if this works. O four one five. O four. Oh 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 four. O four one five. O four five one. Whoops. Derp. There we go. All right. One document. Kubelik and Wise, attorneys at law, Boone County. All right. So they're a local attorney. Dear Mr. Mason. Please find enclosed your original document, and a typed copy for your records. The notarized copy has been filed at our offices. Thank you for entrusting our firm with this important matter. Sincerely, Jeffrey Wise. Wait a minute. Oh. Will and te Whoa. Will and Testament. Okay, so that's the, um... The guy who owned this house before. A relative. Will and Testament. I, Oscar Mason... Possessing full competence of mind and memory, and after full survey, yeah. This is the last will and testament. I declare that I am a lifelong resident of Boone County, that I am unmarried and have no children. I declare that I have no outstanding debts to my name to any creditors, living or dead. I do hereby bequeath every item of value to which I may, I, of which I may die possessed, including the dwelling and surrounding areas located at Arbor Hill. Okay, so this was his place. And property and money to counts. To my nephew, Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. of Ellis County. Okay, so this is this was his house. In the event that said Terrence L. Greenbrier, Jr. should predecease me, then in such event the, uh, the bequest to him shall fall, and the same is bequeathed to his children as ordered by age and competence as stewards of the estate. I subscribe my name to this will this 13 days of August 1973, signed Oscar Mason. Oh my god. I, I can't read any of that, but I it looks like it's just a copy of this, but handwritten. Yeah. Possessing full comp... Okay, yeah. 
Wow, that is like 99% unreadable to me. Okay. I feel like I should turn these lights off. I feel like I should turn the lights off, but the problem is if I do that, I'm not going to know I've been here necessarily. So I'm going to leave them on. Alright. Ooh, hello. Crumbled notes. Hey, oh, well, this is going to be hard to read. Hey, are you... Are you... What? Are you the now? Wait, what? Oh, are you the now girl, Sam? Is that what that says? I'm... Tommy, I'm at the back behind... If you get this and write... Oh, is this a note passed in school? It is. <laughs> Hi, Tommy. Yes, I'm Samantha, and yes, I'm new. What's up? I just thought that since you're new, maybe you could use a friend. I do not have uh, a lot of friends either, and so the thought... or I, I thought I'd ask uh, if you don't mind. Do you mind? <laughs> you made a yes slash no, and she circled no. That's adorable. No, I don't mind. Uh, what did you want to ask? Was it just your uncle who went psycho? Or does it run in the family? What the fuck? Jesus. All right, what happened with Mason? What a piece of shit. What a way to welcome someone to a new place. Alright, someone left the TV on. Um, have I been back here? No. Okay. Oh my god, I've been playing for an hour already, and I'm not even, like, half done with the bottom floor. I love this game. I freaking love this game. Look at There's so much detail. Just... <sighs> the beauty... And the interest of a fully realized home, you know, when you have all the clutter scattered around and all these little bits and pieces that naturally just, that are just naturally present in the environment in everyone's home. It, it's beautiful. I, I just, I, I love it. This environment is so well done and well detailed. It's amazing. Boats. Hold on, let's uh, listen to this. Sounds like a warning. Is that a storm warning? Storm watch, severe weather warning, western region. Yeah, it is uh, pretty stormy. Alright, what were you saying? Hello, there you go. Wow, okay. Flood conditions are expected at lower elevations. People are advised to stay indoors. And Sam actually went out in this weather? Man, that is a bad idea. I hope she's not driving. Or, I, actually, I don't know what would be worse. Walking in this weather or driving? I guess probably driving. What is that? VHS 120. Oh, cassette. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah! Fuck yeah! You know what I would imagine would happen now to that music? Is a cleanup montage of me cleaning the house. Unfortunately, I can't do that. Although I suppose I could throw everything, like, in a cupboard or something. <laughs> If I remember right, the soundtrack is provided by, what is it, Riot Girl or something like that? Uh, they license the music, I think. Role model. Alright, apparently Sam... Whoa. Girl Scout? Role model? Wait. Oh, can I put in different sides? Oh, that's the one I just heard, right? Uh... 
there. Oh, apparently I can't. Anyway. Oops. Put it back. There we go. Apparently Sam really Sam really liked them. I'm assuming that's Sam. It, it, yeah, I'm pretty like I'm like 99% sure that is music Sam would listen to and probably not Terrence or Jan. Is is that my mother's name? I don't know. I haven't really heard anything from my mother yet. It's a coaster with a leaf on it. Wonderful. It's a tissue box. I notice all of her tissue boxes have different patterns on them. It's mom's old work mug. Hold on, what's that say? To Kelma County Forestry Service. Okay, apparently she worked for the Forestry Service. That sounds like a pretty cool job. TV listing. Family Matters Lisa Show, blah blah blah. <laughs> Circled is the X-Files. Okay, I... Someone, someone likes sci-fi. Between the writing and this, the X-Files being circled, someone likes sci-fi. I'm guessing it's Sam, but I'm not sure. Coaster. Oh, I guess that makes sense. Someone in the forestry service would like coasters made of ferns and plants and whatnot. Nothing in there. <laughs> this thing even has a newspaper holder? Really? I've never seen that before. Yeah, that is some really awkward wiring. Wiring just goes right under the rug. Yeah. Then again, I mean, remember what I was saying about me living in a kind of old house that has pretty shitty wiring? Yeah. Well, I, I know exactly what this is about, because I have this same sort of thing set up. Like, I had to wire the microwave, I had to use an extension cord to wire the microwave into a different circuit. Like, uh, I don't know, 10, 15 feet away or something? Plug it into a different outlet that was on a different circuit, so that the microwave wouldn't blow the same circuit that my computer's on. Because if, if, you know, if I have my computer on, and I'm running the microwave at like a thousand watts, and say like the washer came on, the circuit would blow. So yeah, I've got like extension cords snaking across different areas to distribute the power load well so that the circuit doesn't doesn't uh, switch off. So yeah, I totally get crappy wiring. Oh yeah. It's that book Dad wrote. Letter. All right, what is this? Oops. Whoops. Oh, come on. I'm, I'm right next to the light. Seriously? I'm in the light. Okay, let me, let's read it over here. Better. Terrence L. Greenbrier, The Accidental Savior. November 21st, 1963. John Russell knows that the president's life hangs in the balance. But who would believe him? Not just another James Bond. A high-class political thriller. So what I'm wondering is, he was a writer, okay, but was he a successful writer? February 3rd, 1978. Whoa, this is from a long time ago. Terry! Hey man, how have you been? I know you're a published author and everything now, but my editor at, hi at Hi-Fi Aficionado has uh, too much review work to go around. And he's looking for another freelance. Naturally, I thought of you. You were saying in your cast letter how much of a pain it's been trying to find a publisher for your latest work of literature. And writing stereo reviews is dead simple. Sit at home with a glass of scotch, listen to some records, and write up how it sounds. And then get paid. I've included some issues of the mag, to use as examples, if you're interested. Send some samples to my editor, and tell him your old college... What does it, it say? Your old college... I don't know what that says. Your old college something Mike sent you. Here's the address. Do it, Mike. Well, that was a while ago, and it obviously didn't go too well. I guess his writings turned out... Uh, started fine, but then went downhill. Can I turn... Oh god, I can turn the fan on. Yes. Yes. 
My life is complete. In fact, you could say, I'm a fan of the game. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna turn it off now. Okay.